One season's hardly over before Bob's preparing for the next, aided by ace mechanic Pim Fleming. That means hours of precise, patient, painstaking work, almost drudgery at times, but with racing engines, cleanliness is next to lustiness, and precision in preparation can mean the difference between success and failure. Few riders enjoy Bob's first-class facilities, like that Heenan and Froud test break. The fewer still could use them, or have earned them as Mac has since his debut as a clubman in 1951. And he has all the inborn engineering ability so typical of the Scots. With the aid of the test brake, he reckons to be able to tune his AJS and Norton engines to suit any circuit you like to mention. All winter and much of the summer too, you'll find him hard at it, squeezing every ounce of latent power out of his singles, checking and rechecking their performance. That's only a start. Power increases in the engine may alter the handling on the track. So as soon as the models nail together, Bob's off to Alton Park with Alistair King to teach it the way around. To check carburation, gear ratios, suspension, the lot. It needs all the qualities of a test pilot able to diagnose the slightest fault in mid-flight. But with no ejector seat if things go wrong. Fasten your safety belts and we'll follow him round the course. It's up into second for Old Hall Corner. Into third, down the avenue. And back down to second for Cascade. a special line in chins to withstand this sort of treatment. And what's more, there's never a square inch of McIntyre in the breeze a split second longer than need be. Into third, past the island. Then right down to first for that other patrol company's band. the gears again until Max in top at the brow of the hill. 